A new political ad is stirring up controversy in the race for U.S. Senator from Utah. As we reported yesterday, unaffiliated candidate Evan McMullen claims the ad edits his words and changes the meaning of what he actually said. Many of you have called us and emailed us about the ad, so Fox 13 News reporter Mike Gooby is showing us the ad and the unedited version of it from the interview where it came from. The ad was produced by a political action committee called the Club for Growth. Excuse me, I'm going to finish. The Republican base is racist. These bigots. What Evan McMullen says, that doesn't feel kind. And it's these five words that are creating turmoil. The Republican base is racist. Evan McMullen says his words were edited and that it changed the meaning of what he said. The clip came from an interview on CNN from back in 2017. We wanted you to hear it uncut and decide for yourself. There's a taboo within the Republican Party about attacking racism in America. And I know that that's the case because when you do it as a conservative, you get attacked by elements within the party. And that's where we are. And, and, and not all Republicans, of course, are racist. I was raised by Republicans who are not at all and who, who welcome Americans of all backgrounds and, and, and are not at all like this. But there is an element of the Republican base that is racist and our leaders are afraid to stand up to them because if they do if they do so they'll be criticized and they'll potentially lose votes and so they don't do it but that's not public service that's self-service and we need leaders especially on the republican and conservative side these days who will serve the country and serving the country means standing up to these bigots that was just under 60 seconds we contacted Mike Lee's campaign and offered them 60 seconds to respond. Instead, the campaign sent us a statement saying, quote, Senator Lee's campaign is not responsible for the ad. We can't coordinate with PACs. We refer all questions about the ad to the Club for Growth, end quote. I tried to reach the PAC, the Club for Growth, but their voicemail was full and they haven't responded to my message on their press page either. Campaigns I wanted an expert perspective, so I spoke to Mary Weaver Bennett at the Michael O. Levitt Center for Politics and Public Service at Southern Utah really University about the guidelines well, uh, for campaign ads and PACs. The Federal Election Commission or the FEC, the regulation is that the two entities cannot coordinate right? They can't get together and, and say, okay, you make this ad, I'll make this ad. She says that this race that is considered to be close is gaining attention nationwide, and that's why more money is pouring into these campaigns. You know, PACs step in all the time everywhere. It's um, a pretty standard method of operation. Again, uh, we, did, we didn't see a lot of it in Utah, and so we may not be as familiar with it, but oh my gosh, you know, PACs are are big business and and exist to do negative ads. Bennett adds that with the marketplace of ideas and free speech in the United States, it's important to be informed about the content we consume. If an ad runs against you today and you want to say tomorrow this is not true, your best course of action would be for the campaign to put out the material that proves it's not true. The other option is the media often has fact checkers. And we hope being able to see the unedited clip helps you make an informed decision. I'm Maithili Gubi reporting, Fox 13 News, Utah.